Today, I'm playing the number six ranked D1 golfer in the nation. This is episode one of my new series where I play against top level college golfers in the nation. This match got intense. Welcome to D1 episode one. I love the pressure. Who came to play today? I mean, this kid doesn't miss. Hi guys, we're back with another GM Golf video. Today is episode one of a series that I'm very excited to bring your guys' this way. Today I've challenged Luke Powell, uh, number six ranked division one college golfer in the nation. So today is gonna be a very tough match. What this series is going to be about is I'm gonna be going around with division one golfer friends that I know and uh, challenging them to nine hole matches straight up and seeing if I can take any of them down. Uh, starting with probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest match that I'll ever have. I'm, I'm ready to go, it should be a good time. Made a clutch putt on the last hole to get in here. Does he oh, let's go baby! Yeah. If you didn't watch it, the, the last video that we did on the channel was a four man stroke play with Luke and two of his teammates and Luke ended up winning, which gave him the spot to play me in this nine hole match on the back nine. So you, gotta, Luke, you gotta earn to play you, huh? Yeah, it's kinda like you had to earn it, but to be honest, if I was playing any one of these guys, I would definitely struggle. And unfortunately, I got the sixth rank, you know, college golfer. Back nine out here at the Oaks at Valenciaga. What is it? Huh? Valencia. Valencia? Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's oh, designer that's... brand. <laughs> <laughs> Valenciaga and Valenciaga. Yeah. Flip T to see who goes first between Luke and I. And that's Luke. I don't know this back nine at all, so I'm following your lead. Show me the way. <laughs> Luke does have three wood. I should probably hit three wood. Yeah, it is match play. I, I feel more confident in match play because I can make a 10 and only lose one stroke. Get it all! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's perfect, huh? Yeah, that, that would be pretty nice. As your disgraced caddy, I would recommend it. Okay, just take it out of my hands. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> all right, three wood it is. I'm gonna try and follow that. That is perfect. Anything I think you can kind of miss right here or no? Yes. Yeah. That's too far right? It's fine. That's yeah, fine. That's why you should be fine, yeah. <laughs> well, glad we didn't hit driver. Uh, grew up in Orange County, right? Yeah. That's what we were talking about. You've probably been playing golf since what? You could barely walk? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. You know, had plastic cups my whole life. Started playing competitively when I was eight. So does golf run in the family? Not at all, really. Like, my dad played a little bit uh, with work and stuff like that, but never super seriously. Okay. Uh, we live on a golf course down there on the Gelt. Kind of grew up just watching it play out back. And, you know, always had a club in my hand. Nice. Talk to me a little bit about your junior golf career and how I mean, all... didn't have a super special junior golf career. You know, I won a, obviously won a couple tournaments here and there. Probably my best one was the SCJ Junior. Okay. Uh, which is like the Southern California Junior Amateur. But never really anything like super, like a US Junior Am or something like that. Yeah. Um, but had a good start to the, the year so far and, you know, trying to keep it going. What was the process like, like getting in touch with the UCLA coach and everything like that? <laughs> That's actually a pretty interesting one. Okay. Um, so I'll let you hit your shot, but it's definitely <laughs> yeah. something to talk about. We'll, we'll do it in the next car cam. Then. I think I had 184 from what I remember. 170. I got nine iron. Is that insane? You like that? Okay, Mason likes it, which means I like it. Straight down wind, pins on the right. Again, match play. You just got to be aggressive today. That's all it really comes down to. I got nine iron. Uh. Oh, come on. It's the right club. Fortunately, just missed it here, right? Got to be aggressive today, though. Do you change your mentality at all in match play versus stroke play? Um. Honestly, I haven't played much match play, so that really? may be your upper hand here. Okay, like, I like that. <laughs> haven't been in it much, but no, I mean, I've, I think like the whole thing for me is like playing in my strengths. Yeah. And that's like my consistency. There you go. People always say like, oh, you can make these big mistakes and stuff, but if you're making pars, like let everyone else make the mistakes. I like and that. that's kind of the mindset I'm going into with like this match. It is fun. It's like more exciting, you know? 146, downwind, like 140, it's going to bounce up. We're going to try to hit 50 degree there. Oh. Bounce left. Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Oh, what a shot. Oh, go in the hole. <laughs> Here, I thought you were like about to miss the green. It's like <laughs> 10 feet. Good shot. Thank you. You guys play at this course a ton, huh? Honestly, not that much. Uh, we play more like 
the LA courses in that rotation. Is that what you do for qualifiers and stuff? Yeah, we started out the year playing one round here and then across the street three rounds. I was able, able to make it through to the first tournament. Did you feel some pressure? Or? Totally, dude. Like, As a freshman. So I actually was uh, like leading the tournament, like the qualifying by six. Wow. And the last day I showed 79. Oh, wow. I still made it. Um, I was like, there's a number two guy. But I felt it, right? Like there's a lot of pressure to come in and perform as a freshman. Right. Um, I'm sure it's terrifying. Yeah, but I I love the pressure. Like on hole nine, you yeah. know, on their previous video, like that's the stuff I love to live for. That's how you live and for. Whenever I have pressure, I just feel like I perform the best. Now, since you obviously have competed in more tournaments, have done very well, I'm sure you feel a lot less pressure, or no? You still I mean, feel it. I don't think. I think if you don't feel pressure, you really don't care. That's true. Like that's my mentality, and every time it's just the same pressure. I feel like you're able to like kind of pull it out differently, and you're able to like perform differently. I think you know, like a couple tournaments in junior golf, I felt the pressure and didn't perform, but I learned from those you know events. I always talk about how like failure is like the biggest thing for improvement, right. and like that helps me get better in the future. Failure is not really failing if you learn. Exactly. You know, when you're winning, you just kind of like, oh, that was really cool. But if you're failing, you're like, okay, what went wrong? Hundred um, percent. I need to get this up and down at the very least. It's a slider off this left side. Just a quick thought from you. Should I carry this onto the green and land it short of the green? You should bump it short of the green. Thank you. I'm going to carry it onto the green. <laughs> or not. Brutal the pin. Are they are. They're just so undulated and when they got them quick like this, like this thing is uphill and breaking a ton. Oh my gosh. So slow. Didn't hit it's it. Absurd. This to stay tied. Unfortunately, not the situation I want to be in right now, but gotta trust it. It is gonna snap. Pick the right line, roll it. Huge putt. Woo! Huge putt. We like that. We needed that. That was huge. Yeah, I want the pressure too. All right, all square through one. On to the next. First season or whatever. Did you win any tournaments? I did. Season? Yeah, I won my second event. <laughs> um, actually, that has to be a good feeling. It was. I mean, like, it was, it was at the Hamptons. It was in the Hamptons at a place called Maidstone, okay. uh, which is like a top 50 course in, in the world. And I actually played Nick Dunlap in the final round. Oh, no I way. I came from two back to beat him. No way. That's uh, I'm going to get some water. Played against uh, Nick Dunlap in the final How round. How do I know that name? He, I, he won the USAM this year. I think I probably follow him or something. We follow each other. Won the USAM. Um, he's actually number one ranked right now. No in way. College golf. Okay. Yeah. So that was a uh, you know a good start. Well, it score wise, what won it? I was 17 under for three days, three rounds. What was he? 16. I won so by it, one. It came down to the wire. Well, so I I had kind of you know got myself a good lead. He birdied 17, 18 mm. to kind of like put pressure on me. Mm -hmm. um, but 18, I had like 25 feet putting it from off the green and then had like a tap in par. And it was it was a good feeling. That's unreal. 155 is the number exactly. Luke's going first. I got a P wedge. I like to play. Tucked right pin. Just trying to hit something, you know, just left of it. Give myself a good birdie opportunity. So good. That was a very aggressive line. I think I'm gonna aim a hair more left. Maybe like that rake in the bunker. All about pin high for me. Give myself a good look. Left to the pen. Should be just under full here. It's so hot, dude. There we go. Let's make a putt. Gary hit a nice one. So putting the pressure on me to, you know, make a good putt at this one. Um, got plenty of golf left. Match play. Breaking a good amount. Let's just get a good roll going. A little aggressive. A little aggressive. He talks like John Daly Jr. I thought the same exact you thing. You thought the same thing? <laughs> same exact thing. I didn't <laughs> want to say it. He does. Isn't he? <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was crazy. Um, all right, I think this is a right edge putt, but now I'm second guessing. I actually think it might go right. That's what I was worried about. I was like on the line of if it was going to break or not. Thank you. Yeah. Far. Those are opportunities I can't be letting slide away. Gotta be making those today. Damn. He's like, I even experienced a lot of differences, but for you, what do you feel like is the biggest difference between like team golf and like when you're playing junior golf, only relying on yourself, and also with team golf, 
what do you like versus maybe like not like about it? No, oh, I think that's like a great question. I didn't really have like, you know, the, the team atmosphere in, in high school was, it was good, but like no one else is, you know, really kind of pursuing that after high school. Mm -hmm. But like in college, one, all my teammates are, you know, really, really good and pushing me to get better. And like, that's been like a great aspect to it. Right. Like traveling and stuff with them and prepping with, you know, them at the tournaments and stuff has helped me a lot. Like, especially with the guys with more experience who've been here, like juniors and seniors, mm -hmm. you know, teaching me how to like prep for a golf course that's set up like the ones in college are. And you guys all have a similar goal, like everyone wants to probably go pro after at least mm -hmm. they have that in their mind. So. Exactly, yeah. So we're all just like, it just makes practice like more fun and better. Mm -hmm. um, we're just pushing ourselves to get to the next level. Right. Also, I've noticed like even with the competitive factor of it too, in yeah. team events, when you do something, it feels a lot more special. True. If you play well in a tournament because you're like, okay, I just helped the whole team out, not it's just true. myself. Yeah, I mean. You know? Yeah, especially like they're all there to support you. They all want you to thrive. Like we all want each other to play well and do well. Right. Because um, it, it helps them, but it also helps all of us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, what is this hole? This is par four. Three straight away, three straight away hole. Par four, uh, 424. Keep it down the right a little bit. Uh, as it like funnels all left down, there's some rough. So my line's probably going to be like that tree on top of the hill, like the perfect. bushier, wider one. Mm -hmm. Right down the middle of the fairway, pretty much. All right, perfect. That's. Uh, Perfect. Good ball. Yeah, that's so money. Right center of the fairway with a little draw according to Mason, so that's what we're gonna try and do. Yeah, solid tee shot from Luke there. See if we can follow that up. That'll be nice. Yeah. Whole fairway slopes left too, it's just gonna ride. There we go. Sweet slot. There we go. I mean, your goal is pro golf, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Honestly, like I've never been a big like rankings guy or like tried to pay attention to that stuff. It'd be my first year. Like I'm just trying to go out there and, and stay super like process focused is what I call it. What's what's the shot in front of me? That's what matters the most. Right. You got like Gordon Sargent going uh, pro. He got his PJ Tour card after the season and he's into the sophomore year. How did he? Wait, huh? In it, he's at the end of his sophomore year. How did he get his PGA Tour card? So. There's like a PGA Tour U accelerated. You know, if you're playing really good or whatever, you get on like the accelerated program and they give you like points for playing in tournaments. Um, right. So like he got points for playing in the World Am. He got points for, um, you know, playing in like the Masters and winning a national championship and stuff like that. And I, I haven't really looked too much at how like the point system works. Right. Um, it's pretty interesting. Crazy. He's at the end of his sophomore year. Oh, like year. he's in a sophomore year now and he'll get his card, you know, when May or June comes around. Full, full status. Full status. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. He's the one that, he hits it a mile, huh? Yeah, he does. Is he the one that hits it really far? He, yeah, he, his ball speed's like ridiculous. Oh, Gordon, if you want next, let's run it up. All right, 130, uh, a little wedge here. I think we got to be careful of spin just because like, it's going to be like a semi full 50 degree. Probably play like 125 downwind a little bit. A little foot slip in the hole? I was waiting for you to say it, dude. <laughs> That's crazy your foot slips on wedges sometimes. Do you have a spikes on those? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's get, like some metal or and just pretend like they're plastic. Yeah, you need to lock into the ground. That's absurd. I've seen his feet slip like four times today. At least, dude. 113. Luke's in there tight. I think the door could be slightly open. I mean, in match play, you always got to expect your opponent to do something good. So probably making that putt which means in my mind, I want to make birdie here. Oh, oh. Ooh. Too sure. much. Thank you. Almost. That would have been sick. Something clutch on this back nine. <laughs> I just need Give to make... me a run for the money. Hey, I gotta try. I just need to make the putt. You are Mr. Consistent. You said 93% on fairways last year? It's pretty close to that, yeah. <laughs> it's absurd, because I've talked to like, I mean, and typically like with LPGA pros, they're always higher. Yeah. But like I've talked to the top driving accuracy, they're not even hitting those numbers. That's insane. Yeah. I... <laughs> I mean, I don't hit it far, but like, it just... How far do you... I feel like you do okay, hit it far. Okay, you say 250, no, it's like, no, it's still going real, 295. Okay, realistically, it's... 300? No. I mean, carry like 275. Probably... Really? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really below 300 for sure. Crazy. It doesn't look it, though. Garrett and they're close again, man. Two back-to-back -back holes. Makes a clutch par putt on uh, the first hole. Back-to-back -back shots inside of... 10 feet, kind of putting the heat on me. It is a little different when it comes to match play. I don't want to jinx myself though. Oh, yeah. 
always wet. Let's go, baby. Now this putt looks a lot longer, so I gotta be expecting that. What did I say in the fairway? That's exactly what I said. Couple saw birdies, there we go. All squares through three, both one under. We have ourselves a good match, episode one. Come on, leave a like, guys. Let's see if we can get to like 25,000 likes for episode one. Sheesh. That's a lot, we haven't been there in forever. <laughs> Let's see if we can get there again. 415, par four, a little bit dialogue right. Um, we're just gonna try to send a driver up there, get ourselves like an eight iron in. It's in the breeze a little bit. Well, actually, it's down breeze now. Keep switching, we'll see when we get to the fairway. Is that perfect? Yeah, that's perfect. Can you miss right at all? Yeah, a little bit. Driver in hand as well. Uh, all right, we're locked. Come on, what's the number here? All right, a 111, uh, up the hill a little bit, 114, and then downwind. So I'm gonna try to play like a 115 shot, let it spin back just a little bit. Looks nice. Should kick left. Yeah. This could be really good. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs yeah, up. Let's that go. means it's good. Thumbs up, we say, is a rule of thumb. It's almost a guaranteed birdie. Okay, that's good. Literally the same exact shot. Said it was 111, right? 111 up four. Okay, 115. A little downwind, though, so should probably play the number at a 56 degree. Oh, it looks good. I need to set. I don't know, I think that's perfect, dude. Should spin, actually. I think it's really good. I, it might be a little left, we'll see. I think it's fun. Down the hill here, guys. I think it's slightly left to right, I'm not really sure. I saw you were like filming mine for so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it spinning? Yours? Yeah. Uh, not really. I was just like dialing in on you. Uh, I don't know, today, guys, I've kind of struggled to read these grades of hair. Okay, definitely didn't miss left. <laughs> that missed way right, I did not see that. Kinda of had me like thinking about how much I have to play on mine. Just outside the edge, with some pace, trying to knock this one and get one up. Yep, never doubt. Good birdie. Pretty big, pretty big. It's been uh, on my tail though, so I've kinda gotta make stuff happen. Par five, but apparently we gotta hit three wood because if you hit driver, you're screwed. I'm being told this hole is very dumb, and some might say, I guess, maybe the dumbest hole in California, one of them. America. In America? Questionable design, but it brings uh, the best out of you. Yeah, I'm one down. Yeah. See the small tree on the right? Mm -hmm. And the big tree on the left? Here, Where's the like, green? The green's up, it's like 310. <laughs> You're splitting those two trees. Can you, 235. Can you try and go for the no. green? <laughs> It's not, Why not? Good, it's not smart. Doesn't that sound fun though? Give yourself a wedge. It's also a skinny green. And there's a tree right below the whole, the green. So if you go for it, you'll be right under that tree and you're just screwing it. Okay. I got a hybrid, just trying to lay up. Is that good? All right, I got four. And you like four in here, Mason? Sure, I agree. Alright, we'll take it. 113, I got a 60 degree that should fly on me. I don't love that I'm in the rough right here, but why didn't I hit three wood? Why wouldn't you hit three wood? There's so much room, why wouldn't I hit three wood? That room you're talking about? Just hit it, blast it left. Jumped on me, too high, went right under it, that's short. The old country mile. Playing for far now, that's unfortunate. No, it is crazy, and that's like such a weird visual to hit it over there, because I felt like I hit two perfect shots. Yeah, I strike mine. Yeah, I hit such a good four. like, hit in the rough. What's the number? 92. 92, 60 degree, yeah. I like it. Also kind of shot right on you. See, it could bounce left, no? Oh, right. Both of us are right. Unfortunately, we both need a chip to get up and down for par. Here we go. I got a 60 degree. I don't love where I'm at. I really just need to make par. What the? Garrett, what are you doing, brother? What are you doing, brother? What are you doing? I got a really cool drone shot of hole 18, so you got to make it to hole 18. <laughs> I'll try. Right. I don't know if I can last that long. What's up? All right, I'm just trying to get good speed here. Pressure on Garrett to make it par. 
So it's not like it's not an easy putt. It's just like crown almost. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> love it. It makes me feel better that I lost to Birdie. Dang. Luke came to play today. I think we're going hat backwards now. Two down calls for that. Yeah, reality cap. I gotta, I gotta make something happen. Is this another par five? Yeah. We got back to backs. Yeah. Five twenty. This one's a lot friendlier, huh? Yeah. This one's another kind of a weird hole. You want to keep it on the left side, or like you're gonna have a really weird stance. Par five here. We got a drivable par four seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the super drivable. Three hundred. Yeah. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves though. But yeah. Like we, we gotta make it there first. That's true. That's true. Let's let's finish this hole first. <laughs> Luke's two up now after three birdies in yes. a row. It's kind of what you gotta expect going against this guy. We got four holes left. Let's dial in. Try it. Just trying to hit a little driver in the gap, then the trees, make a little birdie. <laughs> well, I mean, this kid doesn't miss. <laughs> Tough to play against this guy. He never misses a fairway. It's actually insane. You film that? Yeah. 246, playing 250. Just try to smash a hybrid up there. Uh, long's never really great here. Good swing. Yeah, that's a bogey. <laughs> Not ideal bounce, that's for sure. All right, aim left. <laughs> 250, Mason's saying three iron. I'm hitting three iron. We're gonna hit a higher three iron here. No. No. One yard too far right. Damn. I don't think this is you. That's definitely him. That's Luke, yeah. That's you. That's you? <laughs> I'm not counting him out. I said you can never count against your opponent, but. Yes. I made Bernie from here like last time I played here. Not ideal. I would have liked a little bit better there. All right, well, let's quit talking and actually hit a good shot here. I need to make birdie now. Everything considered, I, get, I gotta get this up. Wow. Luke is in dungeon. He's in jail. There's not much he can do. If he gets this up and down, I will be very shocked. All right, important putt here. I mean, it's for par, so it may not even matter, but I'd like to have the pressure put on Garrett. He has been answering, though, to that, so it's like, I am a little nervous. Well, it looks like the hole's over, guys. Nice, right, making me feel better, at least. <laughs> it is better to lose to a birdie. A little flip-flop on the last two par fives. Yeah, yeah, a little flip-flop on the last two, you're right. One down now, back to one down, three to play. I have a chance, I'm still in this. Par three next, let's go. With school, what's the balance like? When I did my one year or whatever, I was told going in, like, you have to pick one of, or two of three. Social life, school, sports. Pick two to be great at, you can't be great at all three, but like, how are you doing with that balance? Yeah, I mean, like, school comes easy for me, uh, which is like, I've been fortunate with, so right. it hasn't been too hard. I've been picking like golf and um, academics, like for the fall, and right. just focusing on that. Because like, social life can get in the way, and you know, can cause trouble in both the other areas. Right. It's definitely a balance though, I mean, I'm in college too, so, you know, like, it's it's been fun. Yeah. I've been enjoying the time with, you know, the team, and at school, and uh, traveling stuff like that. That's good dude cuz like that was so stressful for me I'm impressed that you're able to balance it. Wind's off the right. Nice and full seven pretty much. Make a birdie here We're right back in it. Put some pressure on Luke over there. I would say I'm performing Maybe a little better than I expected coming into this first match, especially if you guys didn't watch the, fr the front nine It wasn't as good. So I just want to keep it keep it going pedal the metal. Alright, seven iron for me as well. Try to hit one tight. Garrett, put the pressure on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Wow. Not ideal there. 
<laughs> Doors open a little bit. Yeah, I think I got an opportunity to get from that. Yeah, it would be nice to be in the fairway. I mean, honestly, it'd be nice to be on the green, but at least the fairway, because I could spin it back in the rough, just like we were in the last episode. 93% of fairways is not really living up to uh, to it today. I don't know, I guess a couple options, but I'm thinking like a 54 degree into the slope. Just let it bounce up and on. Drippy red. Here we go. A little left right here down the hill. It's crazy that that's gonna go 10 feet by. Insane. A little less speed, that actually had a chance of going in. He had a good putt. Better speed than he's had all day, <laughs> which is pretty nice. But, uh, you know, gotta make this chip. I liked it. Looks good. All right, we'll see what Garrett does. I still have a snapper here up the hill. Wow, back to all square. Woo! Wow! All square we go, come on. Out of the last two. Let's make something happen. Come on, boys. Let's go. good match this is a good first episode on the series hopefully you guys are enjoying it second to last hole here hole number 17 you said you got a good shot of hole number 18 you wanted me to last until then yeah we made it to hole 18 here we go no matter here what drivable par 4 it's 303 front edge is 270 it's down it's down off the left of here so I'm hitting three wood it's apparently long it's not great and I don't want to try and take some off a driver so if I'm a little short I'm fine with it I'm just gonna try and rip a three wood That's crazy. I think I'm going through it. <laughs> Come on, baby. So wow. good. What are we, what that was so good. No pressure. That was Man. bad. That was questionable. It's right. I saw yours bounce though. I don't think so. <laughs> Is it not? It's so bad over there. It's terrible? Yeah. Is that you? Huh? Is that you? Yeah. yeah. That's you. Totally fine. That's so nice. How do we not see that? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, not ideal position here. Short-sided, flop shot over a tree. Um, and Garrett's tight, putting for eagle. Can we get a number on this one? I felt competitive going into this match, I can't even lie. But now that I'm in the position I am, I'm like feeling really competitive. Like I, I wanna win today. Should break left, and then I'm thinking it should kinda of straighten out almost. To pull it. I got you. All right, pretty important. Keep it all square and I'm going into the last. So let's get it done. Good try. Give it, give it a run, but didn't get it done. One down going into the last. Yeah. What a flip. <laughs> what a flip, man. Crazy. Couple birdies by him, a couple bogeys by me. Just not the best course management, I guess, is what it comes down to. On to the last, Ryder, on to the last. Cue Drone. the sick drone shot. Now, what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> the sick Ryder drone. This is a long one, yeah? Yeah, you just gotta keep it left of the bunkers. Left of the bunkers, driver in hand. Seems more like a par hole, but let's hit the fairway, see what we can do from there. One shot at a time. Next it, that's great. Yeah, that's all you needed. That's actually 250 though. <laughs> that is actually... Actually went a lot farther than I thought it was. Yeah, it was 
right in there. You know, him being in the fairway, thinking I probably need birdie, but it starts with hitting the fairway, so that's gonna be our focus here. We got like 205 here out of the bunker. Par is crucial. Like, par is crucial here. Gary doesn't have an easy shot, so I mean, into the breeze, I'm kind of feeling like we, we have an opportunity. All right, well, we're gonna have to make par for with a wedge. 202 yards, I got a five iron. Gonna try and play a cut, land it soft, make birdie. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Where did it come from? <laughs> that was funny. Damn, dude. There you go. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know. I said like I normally play fairly well in match play, but I don't think I normally play this well. I think I'm long. I think I'm long in the green. But either way, I hit a solid shot. Shout out to these boys behind the green. <laughs> They're just like nice. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's coming down to the wire. Not really putting myself in the position I would have liked on the last two shots. Last couple holes, really. It's not over. 100 yards into the win. Just get this up and down, put the pressure on Garrett. All right, a look for par. These guys are great behind the green. It'd be so sick if I chipped this in right now. <laughs> that would be so sick. I gotta expect Luke to make it. And so I can't be messing around here. This is a big shot. It's a big up and down here. Hit this up and in for par. Wanna know, come on, let's make it happen. Oh, long. Ugh. All right, Luke. Oh. Pretty important putt. Um, I'm currently one down and uh, this is a must make. I mean, I can make it in. If Garrett makes it too, it's over, but you know, I had to give it a run. Yeah. I mean, it's match play, it's over, but you know, great day out here. Lag it up there. Yeah, just gonna lag this one up there. <laughs> he does it. Yeah! Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah. That was so much fun. fun. Yeah, thanks so much blast. for having me. Yeah. That's Luke Powell for you. Uh, nine hole match. That's episode one. I'm kind of shocked that I ended up winning today. I played better than expected, couple under par. It was a lot of fun. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and if you wanna follow Luke's Instagram, it'll be linked in the description down below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content. Stay tuned for episode two. And uh, until next time, peace.